Today we're going to look at the various parts of a recoil starter. This starter comes from a Briggs & Stratton 11.5 horsepower riding lawnmower. This wheel contains a spring on the back side, so be careful when removing. After undoing the end of the spring on the wheel, the spring will uncoil. Starting from the bottom up, we're going to do the spring first. You'll notice a little notch in the spring. That's to hold it together after it's been assembled. The direction of the spring matters. When you pull the rope, you want the wheel to be under tension. The bottom gets clipped in first, and then essentially you just wind it until it gets tight. You need to wind it tight enough so that it's small enough so that the cap on top fits over it. And now you're just looking to align the end of the spring to the clip in the pulley. Once you've aligned the spring and the pulley, you should be able to rotate the pulley and feel the spring pull it back. On this model, the spring stays attached once it's assembled. The top should be assembled so that the wings come out when rotated. The whole assembly should rotate and recoil freely.
I had the best luck melting the ends and wiping them to form a tip. One more check to make sure the assembly rotates freely and then we're going to rotate it in the direction that loads the spring. We're going to load the spring until it stops. Once it stops we're going to back it off one rotation and line it up with the hole with the hole in the wheel. The rope comes through both holes to the inside where you can tie it off. You may have to hold the wheel from spinning at this point. After the rope's tied off, you can pull the rope and the recoil will pull the rope in. The final check is that when you pull the cord, the wing should extend. If you need to adjust the tension, there is a notch in the wheel. Line the notch up and pull the string through from the back side. You can then rotate the wheel around and tighten or loosen the tension as needed. At the heart of this assembly is a spring. This is called a flat spiral spring or a spiral torsion spring. All springs hold mechanical energy when compressed or wound. In this case, when the cord is pulled, the spring compresses and mechanical energy is stored. When you let go of the pull cord, the mechanical energy pulls the cord back into the pulley. Another use of torsion springs can be found in your garage. In this case, the torsion spring is under tension when the garage door is closed. When the door is lifted, the stored mechanical energy in the spring and the energy from the motor is used to lift the heavy door. Should you lose power and not have the electric door opener helping, the only way to lift the door is manually. Without that torsion spring, it is near impossible to lift a garage door. Maybe in some of our other recordings, we'll take a look at springs and see how they're used. Please support this channel by purchasing tools found in the description below. Thank you.